this video, we'll be looking at um, trigonometry and trigonometric ratios. So, um, I'm just going to show you three um, trigonometric ratios that you may be familiar with from GCSE and stuff. Um, first one, sine of theta. Uh, let's just take it from, I'm going to do it in radians though. Uh, has a period of two pi radians, has this shape, uh, cosine of theta, um, starts at one, whereas sine starts at zero, crosses at pi over two, re crosses again at two pi over two, and ends up is at one at two pi. Also has a period of two pi radians, and then tan theta. Um, let's just draw this out then. Uh, asymptotically approaches asymptotically at pi over 2. Same sort of story, and then approaches asymptotically at 3 pi over 2. Um, and then comes from what is negative up until two pi. All right, let me introduce you to the unit circle. Um, it's not a very good circle, but that's okay because that you know we don't need it to be perfect. So the radius is one, okay, and this is theta. Um, so, sine is the ratio of the opposite side of the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is 1, so sine theta is, or sine theta, um, uh, and cosine theta is, so this is one sine, and this one's cosine, because this is adjacent of the hypotenuse. Now tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, um, which equals sine theta over cosine theta. Therefore, tan theta is always equal or is equivalent to, that's an identity sign, this triple equals um, the sine of cosine. Uh, one la Another thing, according to Pythagoras' theorem, um, 1 squared should be equal to the length of the side square, so sine squared theta. This is notation, by the way, um, this, the squared is actually before the theta. Um, not to worry. So yeah, this is another re um, identity that is quite useful. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is always equal to 1, because 1 squared equals 1. Lastly, in this video, I'd like to be able to show you how to um, get equations um, of or find values of theta. That's a poor, that's a poor graph, but I apologise. So let's consider um, this. This is a sine, sine graph. Um, Let's say it's y equals sine x, go on. And uh, sorry, I think radians are king, so, so I'm gonna have to keep using them. Okay, but well, we want to find when sine equals root three over two. But we don't wanna just find one value, because there's one there, and there's one there. If you go further along the graph, there's also one there. So we might want a general formula for this. So sine theta, let's get the principal value. Um, equals, so usually when sine is uh, to power minus 3 over 2, sorry, um, theta would be the inverse sine of, so I believe that's 60 degrees 
but we're not doing we're not doing that. We're doing pi over three radians, and five pi over three radians, because that's the other as uh, as as pi minus pi over three. So that's not that's two pi over three actually. I apologise. It's two pi over three. Should always check the work and stuff. Make sure your logic's sound. So there's one. Um, so the period of sine graph is two pi. So for every n, where n is a um, a whole number, um, these are two general formulae for when sine is equal to nine, uh, three, root 3 over 2. So yeah, so this is a general form. Um, n, n is a part of integers. That's what the weird nouveau art z is meant to mean, basically. 